Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, we're going to have a Grails discussion today. So uh, I'm going to bring out the shoes that are Grails to me and I'll, I'll show you what's up with those. Um, but first let's go over what, uh, what a Grail is. Now, um, different people have different definitions of what a Grail is or what a Grail should be. So um, to me, it's it's just a shoe that you, you either had when you were young and for the nostalgia purposes you want it again, or maybe it's a shoe that you know, eluded you for a really long time, and so you finally got it, that's your grail. Uh, grail might mean something really expensive and hyped up. So I just have a few shoes in front of me that uh, can kind of represent a little bit of, of what a grail might mean. Like a grail, to some people, might just be a, a classic shoe that they're never able to get. So these are the, the, the white cement threes. Uh, just a really classic shoe, you can see I'm, I'm restoring these. Uh, or it could be the black cement. Four. So, again, another really classic shoe. Uh, maybe, maybe someone was just never able to get them, or maybe every time they go to try to get them, they've eluded them. So this is considered a grail to them. Uh, or maybe it could be like an old runner kind of thing. Like these are a pair of 2003 Air Max One leathers. Uh, not hyped up at all. Just a shoe that's not seen very often. So it might be a little harder to get. Um, and then here I have the uh, the Adidas. Um, R1 NMDs uh, in the original launch colorway. Um, I mean, some people, it's a hyped up shoe. Maybe maybe your grail is the Nike Yeezy 2 uh, Red Octobers, and that's completely fine. Um, it, it just, it is to you what it is to you. Uh, you can't base what you like off of what other people like, um, or I, I guess in the case of the Yeezys, you could. That's a, that's a conundrum and a, a story for a different time, but uh, your grail is your grail and nobody else's. So I'm going to go through my grails and I'm going to go from uh, newest to oldest. So hopefully this works out. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what's your grail? What, what's the what's shoe that's eluded you? What's the shoe that you remember most about your childhood? Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. So first... First is going to be an honorable mention. Now, I, I just got into Air Maxes probably uh, like three months ago. So I'm just kind of really new at this. Um, there's a few pairs that uh, I really wanted and when I realized the prices on them, I kind of, my, you know, my soul kind of sank a little bit. Uh, one of them being the Air Max One Paras, which are, they're the like all cherry red, um, really nice suede version those are going for like a few grand so you know that's still kind of a, a grail if you will I, I'll never spend that much on a pair of shoes um, so I'll, I'll probably never have them unless I win the lottery but I don't play the lottery so I don't expect to win the lottery <laughs> if that makes any sense but um, there are there are a couple Air Maxes that uh, when I seen them I really like them and I thought man uh, I'm gonna go look for those and then when I seen the prices on them again, I was like, dude, that's outrageous. And this is one of the pairs. This is the, the Air Max One Pink Pack. Um, these came out in 2007. I don't know a whole lot about these or the background for them. Uh, all I know is that they, they kind of came out with a pack of, of these shoes with the same kind of color blocking, if you will. Um, I've seen these on eBay. There's a couple pairs on eBay in my size range but they're both like three to five hundred dollars which uh, again it's not something i'm going to pay for but i i found these on ebay and it was crazy this dude was selling them under a listing that simply said air air max one retro and that was it my size size ten and a half um, i don't believe he knew what he had um, they're in great condition. Uh, I, I did a little bit of repainting on the midsole, but I mean, that's to be expected on these these older uh, older Nike runners um, and like Jordans and stuff like that from from this time frame. But I got these for $130 shipped, which is way under what I think they're they should be valued at, and especially for the condition that they're in, they're not beat by any by any stretch of the imagination. So. Uh, I think I got a really good deal on them. Um, so this is this is kind of like a, a runner-up um, or honorable mention 
for uh, my my grail list. I've been wearing these a lot. They're really really nice. The mesh is different than what they've been putting on lately, so uh, it it almost seems like lighter almost. I, I I don't know if that makes any sense, but these these are awesome. If you can get pre 2008 Air Maxes, you know you've you've got it, man. So honorable mentions: Air Max One, Pink Bag. Next up is a, a pair of OG 1997 Air Jordan 12s in the, the black and red colorway. Uh, some people call these the, the flu games because this is the pair of shoes that Mike wore during uh, game five of the 97 finals. Um, it still to me is one of the greatest sports per performances that I've ever ever witnessed. Um, I'm, I'm, almost, uh, I'm almost 32. And which means, you know, I, I haven't seen every sports performance ever. But to me, Mike going out there, being sick uh, from food poisoning, the flu, you know, whatever, night of partying, I, I don't know. But to see him go out and be as um, sick as he was, put up 38 points, and just, you know, destroy the hopes of an entire city. That's, I mean, that's just who the guy was. So this is my dead stock pair. Uh, I, I have a pair that I restored. I had to put a new um, zoom unit in and glue them back together and everything, but that's a pair that I wear. Um, but this is my dead stock pair. The, the tabs on them are still still intact. A lot of times these tabs will start to, to break over time. Uh, they'll just start to wear down or whatever. But on this pair they're still intact. Uh, just a beautiful shoe. I, I, I mean this is, this is more for like memories to me um, than anything else, uh, just for that game. Um, the the thing that m me and my family uh, really started connecting on was when we, we started watching the Bulls play basketball. And as, as silly as it sounds, like those are some of my best childhood memories. The first time that my parents let me stay up after my bedtime, um, we would all sit and scream at the television because uh, we wanted to see Michael Jordan win. Um, I, I have. I think Michael Jordan's like ruined me for sports because I want my superstars to be like him. I want them to care more than anybody else. I want them to work harder than anybody else. I want, I want them to to be better and like absolutely dominate everybody, no matter what it is. That's what I want out of my out of the people that I watch uh, in sports. So, uh, thanks, Mike. You you've ruined me for other sports stars. Next up is uh, some grails for a lot of people, I think. These are the Air Jordan 11 Concords. These are my, my favorite shoe of all time, of all, all time. Uh, I did a video on these already, so if you want to go back and watch that, uh, you can. You can hear a, a little bit of the story, but um, to me, this is the most beautiful shoe ever created. Uh, I, I can't necessarily wear 11s. Like I, I feel like they look weird on my feet. But just the, the the design that Tinker put into these things was, is just so ahead of its time. And still today, after all these years, these these came out in 1995. Um, after all these years, it's still a fresh take on a basketball shoe. I mean, look at these things. They're, they're just beautiful. From you, I mean, you got the the icy sole, the carbon fiber, um, the black patent leather, the the mesh upper, these huge rope laces, like. They just don't make them like this anymore. I really hope that the Space Shams that come out this year kind of kind of live up to the hype and live up to the to the shape and quality of, of these things because I really I really miss this this sort of shoe. So um, this is another one of my grails. Beautiful shoe, my, my favorite shoe. I'll like the the twelves. I'll I'll never wear these. These are these will stay for. Um, display purposes. I'm still looking for displays for these and the 12s and some of my other uh, other shoes. So, um, but what else is there to say about these? Uh, you guys know these shoes. Um, you've seen them everywhere. Uh, Retro um, twice, uh, not counting the uh, the DMP pack. Um, these these are awesome. So, uh, yep, Concords. These are obviously. The Black Cement 3s. Um, I again just recently did a video on these also. This is a pair of Black Cement 3s from 1994. 
so the the earliest um, the earliest retro that I can get my hand on. Um, obviously, I, I would love to have an original pair of 88s, but um, just like the the Air Max, um, you know, Paras or dead stock pink packs, like I just don't have like two, three, four grand to spend on a pair of shoes. Um, and again, if I win the lottery, maybe, but I don't play the lottery, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll hold my breath on that. Um, these, these are just, again, man, Tinker Hatfield is the man, like, to, to come in and just absolutely change the game with these things, uh, so classic. Um, the white cements are beautiful, but the black cements to me are, are the, the better color scheme, better colorway. Uh, they they stay cleaner <laughs> if I mean if that means anything to you um, so they stay looking nicer longer um, and with the threes like they don't look bad uh, not like beaten up's the wrong word but they look good worn so if you wear a pair of threes like you you don't have to baby them or coddle them like you would say like the Air Jordan 11. Um, because of like the creasing starts looking really weird on the 11s but with these they, they just look like a pair of shoes that are meant to be worn so uh, you have the, the elephant print which is iconic now um, the tumbled leather you got the Nike Air on the back there and then the introduction of the the Jumpman logo on on the pair of Air Jordans so these are classic iconic beautiful pair of shoes uh, I have a, another pair of these also that I actually wear too so um, they're they're awesome awesome so all right and last but not least is my pair of OG 1985 Air Jordan ones in the royal colorway now these I <laughs> I thought I would never ever 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 be able to get a pair of these so the, the retros that came out in 2013, those things are going for a grand, right? So anytime I would find these on eBay, they'd be like a grand or up, uh, or they'd be absolutely so like torn to pieces that it wouldn't be worth me restoring or anything. But these came up on eBay. Uh, I shot a, the guy an offer that I thought was reasonable and not only reasonable, but within my price range and he accepted them. And I cannot believe that I have a pair of 85 Air Jordan 1s in the royal colorway. This is my favorite, favorite colorway of the Air Jordan 1. And I'm not sure why, like, the the black and red, like, band colorway is awesome to me. I love the Chicago colorway. The Chicago colorway is probably my second favorite uh, colorway of the Jordan 1. But the royals to me are just awesome. The the promo poster that they had for these where Mike's like standing on the runway in the black and blue um, uh, warm-up track suit or whatever that I don't know it just spoke to me um, my, my high school basketball colors were um, were black and blue too so maybe that has something to do with it uh, and and maybe it's just because it's a little bit different from what what you've seen on Air Jordans um, so I was born in 84 I don't necessarily remember Mike playing or, or wearing these when I was that young or anything like that. But just looking back through the history, understanding what the Air Jordan meant, that he played for Chicago, most of his shoes, all of his shoes were in a black, white, and red colorway. Um, Any time that it deviated out into a blue kind of colorway or any other sort of colorway was kind of, not rare, but just cool to me. So when I, when I seen... Um, this colorway it was that was it for me like these, this is the epitome of, of the Air Jordan 1 so uh, that's that's about it these are are my grails guys um, I hope you enjoyed um, it took a while to, to get some of these out and whatever to, to show them to you but um, so give me a give me a thumbs up guys uh, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this I've got I actually I just got a pair of 85s on eBay, so there's going to be a video coming up soon, and I'm super pumped about it. I got them for an absolute steal, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know down in the comments what your guys' grail is, how long you've been searching for them, do you have them, 
uh, were you able to get them or are you still on the hunt for them so so let me know that is all thank you guys that's that's it have a good day thanks bye